Hi guys and welcome back to All Things Home with Sharon. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the styling of a modern console table in my family room. Now this came about because I was reconfiguring furniture all throughout my house and in my family room, after I moved all the furniture around, I ended up with a blank wall. Which then led me on the hunt for a console table. And I knew I wanted this console table to be kind of modern and I knew that I wanted it not to be chunky. I wanted the footprint on this table to be kind of light, kind of small. It's a 40 inch modern console table from Wayfair. It was a two tiered, uh, a, a little contemporary, cozy, modern. So this table was perfect. And it had two soft closing drawers for storage because for me, you can never have too much storage. <laughs> And most of the pieces are custom pieces that uh, I DIY'd or customized to fit this room. So um, I'm excited to get styling this table. Let me show you what I did. Here on All Things Home with Sharon, we do home decor, home decor hauls, cooking and cleaning, laundry, you name it. Anything having to do with home, you can find it right here. So if you're interested in making your house a home, check us out. Hit that subscribe button. And I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up and followed me on Instagram. This modern clock is a custom piece that I DIY'd. I will link that video down below. table books I got from Home Goods. When I'm styling a shelf, I do the high-low method and I always try and cluster in odd numbers. That sculpture, that tabletop sculpture also came from Home Goods and I thought it tied in really well with the custom clock. And the custom tray is something that I already had for a very long time, and I just added custom decorative balls inside.
I've got some um, wooden bead garland. And this wooden bead garland, I believe I got this from Amazon. And here I'll just add a candle. My diptyque basil candle. And I think that's enough for the top. I like that. from Etsy. It is a weeping willow tree and when I look at it I think of my dad. My dad is from the south and I heard tons and tons of stories about the weeping willow trees. So this is an ode to my dad. I purchased an 11 by 20 frame from Hobby Lobby so when the print came I just added it to it. Again another custom piece for this area. That vessel there came from HomeSense, and I purchased it not only because it was white, but I also loved the print that's on the outside, and I thought it would be a fantastic contrast to this one here, which I also got from HomeSense. And uh, again, I love the play on the designs on the outside of the vessel. And I'll add some flowers here in the center. This large vessel came from um, HomeGoods. What do you think about the color of that vessel? That vessel is perfect. I love the shape and everything, but I'm not so certain that that color is working in this room. It just might be because it's picking up the colors from the tray. And I kind of like that. I wanted it to be taupe. I thought the taupe color would go better in here. What do you guys think? Should I paint that vessel, that rust colored vessel, should I paint it taupe? Or should I leave it as it is and it kind of blends with what's happening up here in the tray? Leave me a comment. What should I do? Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the styling of the console table in my family room. I've been extremely busy over here doing uh, updating home decor, so I have lots more videos to come. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And I'll catch you back here next time on All Things Home with Sharon. Bye. <laughs>